The following contest is a triple threat tag team Hell in a Cell match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 380 pounds, Danny Birch and Oni Lorcan, the United Kingdom. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in art form. This is gonna be good. And at a combined weight of 582 pounds, the Triangle of Terror. The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. The WWE Universe on their feet. And at a combined weight of 505 pounds, the Patriots. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver. All these teams facing off in the cell, but only one will end the night with their hand raised. High pressure situation to say the least. Not only are multiple competitors aiming at you, you still need to keep tabs on your partner as chaos unfolds in this structure. I oh, had that well scouted. He saw it coming, taking advantage. An agile escape. Ooh. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that only moves out of the way. He's got his hands on the back. One home run swing could end this match. Oh. He eludes the contact. Just breaking down the opponent. Elbow drop. Piercing. Chin lock and now just rapid fire punches. Fair control. Morgan denies the attack. Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Textbook head scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Counters that. Fish on the top. Rope tower of London. Will Birch seal the deal? Neck breaker. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Keeps him at bay. What a shot. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Neck breaker. And that one misses. 
is the mark. Oh, that hurt in the chest. Oh, flipping the script out in there. Boom. Ooh. dodges out of that. Wards off that offense from Oni. How's that for a counter?
still do a lot of damage, though. Ooh. And we see any release in the hole. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Enough already. Break his arm. Vicious. Why in the world are they doing this? They escaped the dangers of the cell just to fight up to the top where every step could be harassed. This is truly awful. Altering moments come from the top of that cell. Elbow smash. Oh, chest. Lands an elbow. Burke shot coming. Somebody's about to get left hole. And hurt. Party's over. Uppercut connects. Can he take advantage of this? Nasty hit on the face. Oh, look at the squeeze. It's on like a vice grip. This looks nasty. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. Mmm! Solid punch. And he's able to fight out Larkin. Oh, stiff uppercut. Unloading with an uppercut. Are these superstars even aware of the peril they're in? I don't think they're completely aware of their surroundings. They just have tunnel vision for each other. Listen to this place. It's electric. Hit the mark with that one. How can they even compete up there? How are they not frozen with fear? When you have this much contempt for your opponent, you'll do anything you have to to drag him to hell. He's looking to finally put Burtz away. arena as war is waged on top of the cell and now a series of stomps and kicks oh my god no at 
this crucial moment in the match. Lorcan is proving it'll take a lot of work to keep him grounded for good. Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well being. Gave you the first hit, Molly. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, and only Lorcan counters. He has summoned the seven. Staggers up, but might be put back down for good. Ooh. Uh oh, the end of days. And that can keep on him down. That's got to be it. Two. Whoa, what a kick out. You are not alone in your shot, Cole. We all thought that was it. Thanks for coming. to go down. Oh, I can't look. Down the leg, single leg, Boston crap. Oh, is he going to tap out? He may. And there's the tap. Oh, come on now, the ref has got to get in there and close the break. Don't do that. 
truly unworthy of his incredible magnificence. I can't tell if this is insanely stupid or smart. Uh, kind of a mix of both. This is beyond dangerous. This is what Warm up the engine on the ambulance. I got a very bad feeling about where these competitors are going to end up soon. As it hooked, oh, it's time to hit the lights. So much brutality with that move tonight. Try to raise him 
with him. This is rather reckless of him. What do you say? Time's up, and he triumphs in this Iron Man match. Here are your winners, Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch, the United Kingdom. And guys, that was a spectacular Iron Man match. It truly took an iron will to win. Definitely a cause for celebration. What an impressive victory. WWE Universe, prepare to have your mind blown. With the arrival of the one and only, the energy level has just been pushed through the roof. The following contest is a triple threat Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring, Representing High Energy from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Ricochet! Ricochet, one of the great high flyers in WWE today. But Corey, how would you compare Ricochet to the high flyers of the past? You can name some of the all-time greats in Rey Mysterio, Shawn Michaels, Superstars who truly excelled in the sky, but none to the level that Ricochet has. One of the most incredible athletes in WWE today. Enter the torture machine. It's like Drew Gulak flipped a switch, and he's always on on. A man who loves competition, but loathes his opponents. And his opponents first... Representing Mustache Mountain from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. He's held the Cruiserweight Championship, a multi-time 24-7 champion. Gulak craves the 24-7 title because he's always ready to fight at any time. A true Broad Street bully. Representing the tribe from Riverside, California, weighing in at 272 pounds, the Luchador, Russ. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match.
A very high pressure situation ahead for this guy, but he is more than ready for it. We all know this five-ton structure made of 2,700 feet of chain link does not judge, but it punishes. It rewards people and shows no mercy. It will not relent. Only the men and women who have stepped inside this demonic structure know just how unrelenting it is. And there isn't a soul alive who doesn't have trepidation when they step inside this cell. Huh, I'm just near the cell and I'm feeling uneasy. sort of game plan works for a superstar going into a triple threat match. You absolutely need superior ring awareness. Far too often we've seen superstars forget about the other opponent and end up getting blindsided. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. Boom! Ricochet just so unpredictable. Gets inside the ring. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Reversal stops Ricochet. Oh, man. Counter! And now there's an opening. And he goes into the ring. Yeah. Oh my god, no assault. He gets sent down to the floor. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh, look at this agility. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Uh, close line! Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. <laughs> Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Ricochet is a moving target. Pele kick! He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, really? Wow, Ricochet connecting with devastating impact. You have to love the innovative offense from Ricochet. Oh, from that. He's able to sidestep there. There was some power behind that punch. Oh man, look at this. It's like he's got eight arms and feet. Ooh, cover, cover. And a kick out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Hard ride to the outside. Out of the ring and into hell itself. Oh! 
And back in the ring we go. We are witnessing the beginning of the end. Good night. Nothing Ricochet can do now. What in the world? And now he's looking to lock in this submission. And Ricochet adapts. Lined him up. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Boom! What a cutter. He steps foot in the ring again. Climbing the turnbuckle now. No one does it better than 630 connects. Ricochet making a statement. There's two! He stays alive, he stays alive. He is just barely still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. What else does Ricochet need to do tonight? He's given everything, but still hasn't ended this. Ricochet is so basic. Impressive strength from the one and only. Oh my goodness! A cross leg Samoan driver. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Two. Kicks out. Almost inhuman at this point. He's going for it all. but that was one of the closest near falls you'll ever see. And Ricochet is in complete disbelief right now after that kick out. Look at this crowd! It's insanity in here! Bedlam! So much damage inflicted. Just carried like a rag doll here. Fighting out. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Hits to the core like that will render you useless. Ricochet up top. What's he got? Oh, my. Nice. Attempting high risk move after high risk. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go, no escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives this. No way. Ah, uh, just slipped underneath. And just like that, he's out of the hole. That was tossed. She get airline mouse for that. Jarring impact. Like he's got eight arms and feet. Strong and ending here. This could be it. Two. A kick out at two. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Uh-oh, here's the setup. Boom! The demons are being summoned. A game-ending move. Checkmate. Two. Now he scores the early fall. When you're in an atmosphere like this, when you can't hear yourself think because the crowd's so loud, you find a way to do superhuman things. That's what these combatants are doing here. He saw that one coming. Turn around, Ricochet's attack. What an incredible moonsault. Oh, stop it. to stay in this. What are we going to see here? Yeah. Face buster. Yeah. Oh, with a big boot. On the mark. Oh, that'll weaken your arm. Stiff kick. Yeah. There he goes, right into the corner. Yeah. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Yeah. Boom. The Gulak attack. Oh! Flippers take down. Oh, he's breaking 
terrified. Trying to step through. Here it comes. Now taking control. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. On top out. And he gets a fall there. Gulak turns it around. Ricochet being grounded for the time being. Ricochet has the full energy fast. He turns it around. Oh my gosh! Ah. Answering back! Beautiful arm ring on a fly. He's getting a little batter now. Gets him with the counter. Absolutely stunned. A display of near superhuman resilience. After seeing that, it's hard to imagine what it's going to take to keep this competitor down. That was plan A, and it didn't work. He must be thinking about plan B at this point. Boom! What an uppercut. Man, this place is jumping. And Ricochet has been clawing for offense like that all match long. Ricochet showing an incredible surge of energy at exactly the right time. Sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. <laughs> Jumping knee strike. I like that. <laughs> Setting up. Question, how much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Oh my god! Beautiful and Frankensteiner! even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages.